Hmm. It's about time this episode dropped. It's been an hour and 16 minutes waiting for this episode to drop. I fell asleep. I fell asleep. I fell asleep waiting for this episode. But now I can finally react to this and get this episode out for you guys. And then I'm going fully to sleep. So with that being said, yo peoples, Kyushu92 here. And welcome back to yet another One Piece episode reaction. So let's get it started because... Uh, Ah, uh, finally, it's about time I can react to this. Last we left off in One Piece, we had members of the Straw Hats get to the lava phase where they encountered what appears to be a Seraphim Jimbe, the brain of a genius, six Vegapunks. And he immediately opens fire on the Straw Hat crew. Oh, this is a high grade scene. Look at all the extra detail of everything. The explosion size, the extra debris, just this one segment. Almost seems like the Straw Hat crew was lured here on purpose. Ooh, Nami's already at the ready to fight. And ooh, and he just dives straight into the ground and he starts swimming through the ground. And Frankie recognizes this power. Yo, Nami immediately got jumped. Yo, Sanji goes, okay, death penalty it is. Just because he grabbed Nami. Woo! Look at Robin! Look at Robin's face! And she immediately starts with Gigante Fleur. Sea Serpent uh, Snapdragon. Woo! And just spanking him. And, yo, underwater again. Okay, this is, okay. This is a nice high quality scene here. Like, look at this. Look at this! Special attack green star. Gets him with the grass bomb. And Jinbei's not there. Yo, Frankie's gonna use radical beam right there? Thinker, Edison. And he's watching this whole thing go down. But Frankie, you can't be using radical beam when your fans are so close. Especially with an explosion that big. Okay, we're getting introduced to everybody. Wisdom, Pythagoras. So we got Edison and Pythagoras. Edison wants to keep making, wants to constantly make stuff. Pythagoras is the one who gathers the data. Yo, S Shark got Sanji. So while the Straw Hats are fighting for their lives, Edison and the other members inside of this room are just straight up like, oh, this is good data we're getting. Greed, York. Edison steadily coming up with ideas. And we're flying across all of these different, all these different people. And suddenly Edison has his energy. When York eats some hot dogs and a hamburger, that's a whole pizza. She's just eating a whole pizza. How long has she been eating? She's only been eating like a couple of seconds, not even a full minute. And she's already super large. All of them need to feel like they need to use the bathroom. York goes to the bathroom and now they got their energy back again. What a weird connection. And York is back to sleep again. Yo, we got Shaka. I need this jacket! If someone can tell me where I can find this jacket in my size, I want this jacket so badly. And now none of the straw hats can move. And they're all in the path of the Seraphim. Good! Shaka! And the best looking one of them all so far. Okay, now we cut to Luffy and company. Does this island look like the future to you guys? There is something that even I can't surpass. This island is from the past. For example, if I said there was an advanced kingdom like Egghead 900 years ago, would you believe it? Whoo! Yeah, and what they find is a gigantic robot. Whoo, what a, what a sight. What a sight. What happened during the 100 year void that the world government is trying to cover up? The future that scholars risk their lives to save. After a long period of time, their will is now passed down to the only survivor of Ohara who was once a little girl. 
on the next episode of One Piece, a forbidden piece of history, a theory concerning a kingdom. I'm going to become the king of the pirates. Oh, you guys are about to learn something amazing. Oh, you're about to learn something amazing. All right, I'm going to be brief because I, I, I got to edit this and then I'm going to sleep because this took forever to get on Crunchyroll. This, this episode took an hour and 16 minutes to show up. I fell asleep waiting for this episode. Had I gotten, had it been a deep sleep, I wouldn't have made it. I wouldn't have made it. I wouldn't have made it. But now we're here. Now we're here. We got S Shark, one of the Seraphim. Its name is S Shark. And it just manhandles the entire Straw Hat crew. It manhandles everybody. It gets to Nami first. And you know with Nami, um, I'm pretty sure it drudges up a lot of bad memories concerning, well, Fishman in general, due to how she was treated growing up because of Arlong. So, you know, getting handled like that by a Fishman, even though it looks like Jinbei, and even though she's hesitant to attack him because he's he looks like a child, I wouldn't be surprised if it brings up some PTSD of how how Coco Village was treated during Arlong's time. Now, that's happening. Shaka shows up and quells it, then talks about, like, this island is from the past. This island is from the past. And I can't wait for him to fully explain what that actually means. I'm not going to go into detail. I'm going to let that episode do that for you next week. And then we have Luffy and company discovering this gigantic robot inside this junkyard. And then we have the preview saying, like, what happened with the 100-year void? The void century! And so much information. Oh, oh, you anime-only viewers are gonna love the next episode. Because I, I remember vividly what happened in the chapter that this episode is about to be made from. Ooh, I can't wait. I can't wait. But you guys, let me know what you thought of this episode as a whole. I will say this. There were a lot of good animation moments, specifically around centered around Jimbei and company. We got uh, S Shark and company, not Jimbei, but S Shark and company. Him swimming through the water. And we see we know whose power that is. We've seen it before in a past arc. But I won't say who it is. I mean, it's pretty obvious if you've seen someone use that type of devil fruit power before. But we'll see. I'll wait for the episode to say, and then I'll, you know, give my comments on it. But there was a lot of good animation moments with uh, S-Shark swimming through the water, and then all the different moments, like the explosion that happened, and all the... I love it when they give those high-grade scenes where explosions are more than just, like, simple, you know explosions they get like pieces of debris flying through the air hair is styled in a different way fingers are angled in a very specific way more more detailed if you will you got robin using her sea serpent snapdragon and her gigante flu it's just i love it when these animations get like more specific detail to it so that was nice i like that really looking forward to the next episode because next week the next episode will officially be in March. And that's when, and March will officially start on Friday, next week. So, mmm, can't wait to see what March episodes are going to be like for One Piece. But other than that, I like this episode. I liked it. I'm not going to say that it was so big and monumental. Apologies if I didn't say too much. I was just, you know, watching the episode, enjoying it myself, and also thinking about like, yeah, I need to edit this. So I can go to sleep. But overall, it was a nice episode. <laughs> Pardon me. And I'm looking forward to the next one. You guys let me know what you thought about this episode as a whole. Oh, wait. I forgot to mention. We got to see more Vegapunks. We got to see Vegapunk Edison. We got to see Vegapunk Pythagoras. <coughs> we got to see Vegapunk York and all their capabilities. Edison is so gung-ho on creating new inventions. Pythagoras is so immersed into gathering data, and York is so concerned about eating, sleeping, and basically using the bathroom. And it seems to be tied across... It seems to be... You get, like, this inkling that there might be a connection between all of them due to how, like, they're thinking, like, oh, 
I don't want to leave, and I want to, I'm losing energy. And then you see one of them eat some food, and then all of a sudden it's all like, I have energy again! And then it's all like, oh, now I gotta use the bathroom, but I don't want to leave and not gather this data. And then one of them goes uses the bathroom, and it's all like, ah, oh, I feel refreshed! So, there might be a connection between all of them. But we'll see as the episodes progress. Let me know what you thought of this episode. All I can say to you right now is, hope you all enjoyed. Can't wait to see you all in my next video. Like, comment, subscribe, because I am always looking forward to entertaining you. So have a fantastic day. And once again, as always, later peoples.